We're here at the 5050 premiere in New York City. This movie is starring Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon Levitt. What does it mean to bring cancer to the big screen in a comedic way? It's difficult, it's not easy. It's a very serious subject. Uh, and in 5050, uh, the writer and director really um, are in tune to those sensitivities, but also bring perseverance to the forefront. This uh, movie is based uh, on the life of uh, Will Reiser, who's a writer and friend of Seth Rogen. And while they were talking by the bar one day, they thought it would be important to bring this type of film to the forefront to show the courage of people who have cancer. What's a special look? What made you bring this to the forefront? You know, I, I wish I could take more credit. Will wrote an amazing script, and as soon as I read it, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. Um, and it was, you know, the tone of it, it combined romance, romantic comedy, drama, comedy, in a way that kind of is what life is about, you know? And um, so as soon as I read Will's script, I wanted to be a part of it, and I just tried to do justice to it. Did anything surprise you while you are filming? I mean, the directors, there's sometimes that, like, you're waiting for that, like, that aha moment, and you just don't know exactly when that's going to happen. You know, like, I... As far as, I, I mean, I, 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 I was always amazed and, and, and in, a, in a very, very exciting way um, about what the actors brought to the table. I mean, obviously, I know Joseph Gordon Levitt is one of the greatest actors of his generation. I know that Seth is one of the, the greatest actors of his generation, one of the greatest comedians living today. But it still was awesome. You know, right. you're still watching it and you're like, wow, they make it that much better. Right. Angelica makes it that much better. Bryce, Anna, all those guys make it that much better. So it wasn't like, it was just constantly being happy. <laughs> was there any difficult parts? You know, it's hard making a movie, but, but this movie, being surrounded by these guys who are all kind of my age and having made friends with them, it was easier than, than a lot of movies. Yeah, it was what, fun. What are you looking for audience to take away from the film? Uh, you know, I hope they find it to be a positive experience, an uplifting experience. I hope they learn to take away that, you know, you got to live life to the fullest every day. It sounds like a cliche, but it's true, man, you know? Right. So, playing a role like this, it, it takes a lot out of an actor. How did you prepare for this role? Uh, mostly I prepared by talking to Will, and Will is the guy who wrote the script for 5050, and he actually survived cancer, and he decided to write a comedy about it, which I thought was a really healthy and wise way to deal with such a trauma. And as you were going through the process, is it, like, did anything surprise you about, like, the if you went through a transformation, yeah. anything surprise you about it? Yeah, you know, it's surprising how funny it can be. I think for those of us who haven't actually gone through it, you think of it as really serious and you don't know if it's appropriate to laugh or whatever, but getting to know Will, you know, that was part of how he dealt with the situation was just finding the humor in it, and uh, it's funny. Right, and when you hear the word like bromance, would you consider this like a bromance movie? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. That word is like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't use that word, <laughs> but you're allowed to. Right, okay. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Cheers, man. As you can see, it's really an intriguing film and brings a lot of emotion and comedy to the forefront. This is Albert Herman. I thank you for watching.